All right, let's do it. Both of you are under arrest for prostitution. It's not prostitution. You paid her to have sex. No, I paid her to have sex and we're filming it. So technically it's not prostitution, it's a porno. Oh, well, as long as you're filming and selling it, it's legal. Enjoy your day. Remember, kids, she's not a whore if she's an actress. This has been a message from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. <laughs> oh. Peter, for God's sake, you're always an embarrassment at the table. Uh, you should have seen him when we had dinner with Paul McCartney's ex-wife. He kept playing footsie with her under the table. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Now I know how Peter feels when Mort steals his paper. Come on. That's right, you bastard. Stop right there! Yeah, give me the paper! No! No, don't hurt me, you bastard! Mort, give me the paper! No, I'm reading it in here. You can have the real estate section. It's for schmucks anyway. I love hearing about your process. Hey, enough about me. This was a great meal. Oh, good, good. I'm, I'm glad you like it. They told me everybody comes here. Hey, there's Renee Zellweger. Hey, Renee, how you doing? Oh, hi, Brian. Lois, where is my Red Bull? Peter, I got rid of it. Why the hell would you do that? It was making you crazy, and it's not good for you. That's why I poured it all out in the garden. Official flower business. Boo-hoo. You don't like it? You can go talk to a reporter. Oh, my God. I thought we were friends. The kind of really good friends that communicate with each other poorly through Facebook. Bye. Who was that? Oh, uh, prank call? Oh, yeah, I uh, get a lot of those. I can never figure out who it is. Who is this? Wheelie, wheelie, stupid head. Bet you wished that you were dead. Listen, I don't know who this is, but you better cut it out. I'm a cop, you know. Oh, what, are you going to report me on your can't walkie-talkie? I'm going to hang up now. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I got three more of these I wrote on a napkin. Uh, all right, three more. We now return to Germany's most popular late-night talk show, Still Awake with Otto von Stad. Some weather we're having. Okay. I was recently in Munich. Did you ever notice how the government buildings there are quite well maintained? Okay. We have no guest. Good night. What's wrong with the TV? Nothing, Chris. All the shows are in widescreen now, so you can see all the stuff on the sides that you couldn't before. We now return to the Brady Bunch. See, look. Here's what you used to see. Good night, Mike. Good night, Carol. And here's the stuff you missed. Wow, you sound crazy nervous. In local news, there was a hit and run by a drunk driver today at Quahog Park. Two children are missing. <gasps> I was just there. I got a broken nose. I think this is a sign that maybe it's time to hang up the gloves. What are you, out of your mind? Wow, don't you give me that attitude, Peter. Look, Lois, we're making a lot of cash with this boxing thing. And I need money for bourbon and anime. Well, I just can't understand any of this. Everybody in Japan is either a 10-year-old girl or a monster. Carol, what are you doing? Are you crazy? You can't just jump right back into... Lois, this is my life, and this is what I want. I will marry you, Mayor Adam West. Oh, great. I can't wait to tell the gals of my singles group. Ah, oh, come on. This is the goal, isn't it? Well, we've got to stop Bertram. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Brian. I'll come up with something. Remember, I'm a genius, like Thomas Edison. Thomas, what are you doing? Experimenting. And out loud, Brian, read my book. Judge for yourself. I'd sooner spend a night watching European porn. Bravo! Snark! Bravo! Snark! Bravo! Snark! Bravo! Snark! Bravo! Snark! Bravo! Snark! Bravo! Boy, Carol's lucky to have a sister like Lois. You're telling me. I always wanted a brother or sister, but instead I got a broster. Hey, Peter, you want to see my paginas? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. And I will tell you your future. What is it, Peter? You will die in a plane crash and be reincarnated as a prophylactic. All right.
No, no, not all right! Whoa, Stewie, you're getting to be a big boy. I think somebody's gonna be a football star. Oh, you. Oh, forgot your chart. Be right back. Whoa, Jason, you're getting to be a big boy. I think somebody's gonna be a football star. I can't believe I fell for that line. I actually let myself believe I could be a doctor's wife. You're just fat, Stewie. Silly and fat. Peter, where are you going? Last day on Earth, last chance to do this. I'm going to find a black neighborhood and see what happens if I yell the you-know-what word. They respected me for saying it. I know, Daddy. He's become so full of himself. He's more annoying than when he's making his Christmas list. Now, Peter, are you sure this is all you want for Christmas? I'm only going to the mall once. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All new this Christmas, remote control cars that glow in the dark? Get that! I, I spent my whole life as a Christian. I'll tell you what you should do with it. Absolutely nothing. That's the problem with this world. Too many people go overboard with what they believe. Like Quagmire when he thought he was the one getting the spinoff. See you later, bitches. Have fun with your stupid <laughs> giant chicken jokes and your Conway Twitter. Hey, why is there a moving truck outside Cleveland's house? Okay, Brian, watch. Here comes my big part. Oh, here comes Large Bird and Moody Green Garbage Creature. Wow, you're a big bird. And I'm grouchy, so get out of my way. You watch that tone, Moody Green Garbage Creature, or I'll get Bernie and Gert over here to kick your butt. Is there a problem here? Yeah, you need us to use our fists? Ah! Okay, that is the last time you were gonna pull that crap. Ah! You hear me? Yeah. Do you hear me? Uh, yes! Now you are gonna hold down that football until Charlie Brown kicks it. You got that? <laughs> yes! Now go ahead, Charlie. Yay! And you know what else? I did some checking around. You're not a licensed therapist. Yikes, that's a recipe for disappointment. Like walking a floral arrangement through an office full of fat women. Is there a miss? <gasps> Is. Aww. It's amazing what you find when you clean your basement. Pete, are you almost done down there? <laughs> Look what I found. That's wonderful, Peter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go do some sky riding. <laughs> Meg, this is a list of hats. I need these by four o'clock. Good idea. One of those hats would have helped him at the park today. Chris, did you put a coonskin cap on Stewie? No. Why? <laughs> they look like little robbers. Dad, would you help me with my homework? Uh, Chris, I gotta tell you, that sounds worse than a trip to a failing mall. All right, kids, your mom is gonna go to the Cinnabon that has the cage pulled halfway down, and I'm gonna go to the stereo store next to the dead fountain with garbage in it. Let's say we meet back here under the glue outline of the old limited sign. Hey there, little fella. What's that around your neck? Well, I say it's a little black Jesus. Ah! Black Jesus! I rode into town on an ass. Yo mama's ass. Ah! Black Jesus! Oh, oh, well, I guess sometimes you're just right for the part. Like James Earl Jones playing Darth Vader. So, James, we just want you to do the voice. I guess I could, but I, I don't know if it'll do any good, Lois. He's in complete denial. Like people in massive debt. Well, honey, I've extended our line of credit and exhausted all our savings. We should be good for another month. Oh, that's great, honey. Well, what are we going to do next month? Well, I'll tell you what we're not going to do. Shoot all of our children and then kill ourselves. Oh, I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> I don't think you'll have any control over it. And now our feature presentation, Lawrence of Arabia, presented in its original Ultra Cinemascope letterbox format. Well, I can't see anything. Who's the rather attractive girl on the camel? That's Peter O'Toole. You film buffs might enjoy this. Both his first and last names are slang for penis. Well, thanks for nothing, Dad! Don't mind him, monkey. He's just a big disappointment. Like things that look like DVDs from far away. <gasps> DVDs! Ah, books. And you better get there quick, because with Quagmire, sex is inevitable. Like a fat guy ordering dessert when everyone else wants to leave. So, does anyone want dessert? Ugh, oh, I couldn't eat another bite. No, I gotta get home for the sitter. I'll have the souffle. That takes 45 minutes. That's okay. 
So this is not Reagan? No, it's Rich Little. He's an impressionist. He's been screwing with your head. Well, this thing is worthless. Like my Palestinian alarm clock. Allahu Akbar! Dad, can we please have a turn at the Xbox? Just a second, Meg. I'm still trying to get the hang of this. Okay, guys, tell me again. Wh uh, now, which one do I press to shoot now? Damn it. Ah, ah crap. Who's the douchebag who keeps dying? I'm not a douchebag. I'm new. Look, if you're no good, why don't you just go hide till the end? All right, I'll go crouch behind the, uh... Is this a crouch button? Ah, oh, who dropped the grenade? Idiot! We're gonna play! Moron! You suck! Wow, it's beautiful down there. I just can't believe it really looks like this. Boy, the fish tank at daycare really nailed it. No, really, I have a boyfriend. His name is Anthony. Well, Meg, if you're telling us the truth, I just hope to God he's an improvement over the last one. Thanks, Mrs. Griffin. That was delicious. You're welcome, Justin. It was a pleasure to meet you. Come on, I'll take you home. Okay, babe. Oh. It's not much, but it's healthier than what people ate in the 50s. Steak and donut sandwich, please. You want cigarettes on that sandwich? What, do I look like a Mary? Yes, I want cigarettes. Noise, what are you watching? Sorry, but you know the rules. Hannah can't do the photo shoot until Miley finishes her homework. You can't tell Hannah what to do. She's not your daughter. Wait, so Miley's my daughter, but Hannah isn't? Right. Great. Put your wig on. <laughs> Shut up. This is real. Hey, if I'm starring in a production of Starlight Express, I want my whole family there. Starlight Express! 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 Tell me about when you were young, Grandpa. Oh, Sonny, those were crazy times. My friends and I were out of control. We used to give each other wet willies and funny arms. We'd play dandy balls and legs are spread and penis butt. Sounds kind of gay, Grandpa. It was gay. Everyone was. But back then, we were called pole fancies. It was real good old-fashioned grab the nearest tree and hold on for dear life gay. Not today's fancy featherbed thread count gay. People got hurt back then. That's gay. Yeah, it was pretty gay. I'll tell you, my life was so dominated by that baby. I'm glad she's gone. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta make a decision and go with it. Like when I decided to try that radical penis enlargement. Peter, I don't think... Ryan, your objections are duly noted. Now hit the gas! You know that would never work again in a million years. Don't need it to, Brian. This day has taken a bad turn. Like Mike Brady's first marriage. Here's your beer, honey. Huh. I don't remember asking for a warm beer. Well, I didn't want to quit working. You made me. You don't talk to me that way! Alice, what did you see? Enough to know I'm getting a raise. We now return to How Henry Kissinger Met Your Mother. I was walking with my professor when I saw this woman who was in there and I couldn't feel that. Then I want it would look kind at me. Can it one cancer in a final diet cell? Five thousand dollars? I could get that cave for the front yard I've always wanted and then tell people not to go in there. <laughs> hey, you kids stay out of that cave. You don't know what's in there. <sighs> Money well spent. How many times do I have to tell you I'm sticking by this woman? I love her. Well, careful, Brian. Sometimes the things you love can disappoint you, like that Playboy issue. Ah, <sighs> here we go. Playboy's Women of the Olympics. Wow, those are some broad shoulders. Okay, I guess small boobs are good for swimming. That... that... those are balls. I think we could be an even better team than Lewis and Clark and the guy who likes to rip up maps. All right, the Northwest Passage. Hey, can I see that? You ass! Easy, Clark. I hate that guy! It's been a long trip. You're tired. No, I hate him! Look, you're angry, you're dehydrated. Just have some water from the canteen and you'll feel better. <sighs> okay. I just totally drowned this anthill. Hey, when are we gonna get there? She's eating it up. This is easier than an American finding his brother in China. Ron? 
Ron, where are you? Over here, Paul. Oh, good. There you are. It's pretty here. Yes, it is. You know who was my hero? Aquaman. And his secret alter ego, Arthur Curry. Wow, you saved our lives, Aquaman. Just doing my job. Arthur Curry! Did you see Aquaman? He was just here! Oh, darn. I must have missed him. We forgot to tell him thanks. Oh, I have a feeling he already knows. Fine, I'll just sit here and watch TV. We now return to Mark Wahlberg in Annoyed and Confused. What? What's going on? I don't get it. Man, I gotta work out. What's going on here? Where am I? What the... Huh? What the hell's going on here? Huh? What? Yeah, don't do anything to ruin this, Peter. You know, the way you ruined my parrot? I just bought it yesterday. Isn't it beautiful? Cripple, 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 cripple! Damn it! Okay, now where now? No, right it's, there. It's, I'm having right. trouble here. It's right there. It's right in front of you. Oh, okay. No, I, I can hear you. Volume's not a problem. I'm just not quite seeing okay. what you're referring then to there. Then fly, fly out the window. Uh, up here, just, maybe? No. Is it, is to it, your, uh, no, to that's left. not it. That's just more no. wall. How many eyes do you have? Uh, huh? Well, How many? Just two, same number as you, but, yeah, like, you know, I'm, then, I'm just, just go. I'm not oh getting my God, it. Whatever it is you're driving at, I'm just apparently not getting it, so I'm just going to go back upstairs. You can't do that. It's Easter. Not in this house. Lois, this family believes in the Easter Bunny. He died for our sins in that helicopter crash. Now, if you want to go to hell, that's fine. But don't drag the rest of us down with you like a mentally handicapped rooster. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Cock-a-doodle-doo! Good night, everybody! Why are they selling all those DVDs so cheap? Because, Chris, DVDs are outdated and obsolete, like white track stars. On your marks, get set, white guys, go! <laughs> I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were... God, you've missed so much! Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar! You'll be fine. We shouldn't let this ruin our night. Let's just enjoy the strippers. I guess. I just hate the way that one gets so into her work. You boys have been very naughty. I'm gonna have to assign you extra homework. Darn it, fractions are so hard. What'd you get for number four? She said don't share answers! God, she's more stubborn than you are. Daddy, I want to turn on the swing set. No. But you've gone for two turns. Get lost. It looks like fun and I want to do it. No, I'm doing it. I'm gonna do a big jump off. <laughs> ah, get mom! 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 Jeez, you're a bigger downer than a German bedtime story. There once was a boy who liked to suck his thumbs. His mother asked him to stop, but he wouldn't. So she cut off his thumbs. Now he has no thumbs. Good night. Oh, you're just going to pretend I'm not here, huh? Just like Robin Williams' agent pretends he's still funny. Hello? Hey, Phil. It's Robin Williams. <laughs> That's hilarious. I just wanted to make sure the meeting is still on for 2.30 tomorrow. Otherwise, i got to go to that Chinese dentist. Get it? 2.30? <laughs> You son of a bitch! I had a mouthful of coffee! God, you were funny, and that is real! Holy smokes, this is a sure thing. Like the end of a Mexican wedding. <laughs> well, be careful you don't fall off that ladder. Not all dogs go to heaven. So, says here you're involved in the plotting of September 11th? Well... That's what they get for supporting Israel. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Gosh. Okay, into the eternal pit of fire you go. <laughs> Somewhere far away. Maybe China. I hear they got NASCAR there now. Oh, but you got to take advantage of this. Seize your moment, like the duck founding father. Gentlemen, these are all important fundamental rights. But I move we strike the right to bob for small fish with your butt in the air. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? <laughs> the motion carries. There you go, being confident. Like an Italian guy in any given theoretical situation. If that was me, I I'm just saying, if that was me, they are lucky that was not me. Because if the circumstances were such as you have described them, but with me in them, that's a very different and scary outcome for those involved. If. It's a salute at a course for... One moment, Captain. They're about to announce the winning numbers for the intergalactic lottery. Today's winning numbers are 18, 24, 41, 
and 72. Ah, yes! You're damn right! Hell yeah! You can suck it! You can suck it! You can suck it! You can all suck it! Live long and suck it! Oh, by the way, Meg, I forgot to tell you, your grandfather needs you to pick him up at the airport. Ugh, oh, Grandpa always makes me so nervous when I'm driving. Okay, now me. Oh, that's a stop sign! Why are we watching TMZ? I hate this show. Keep watching. So what do you got? I got Richard Dreyfus coming out of the bathroom of his nephew's play in Rhode Island. Richard! Hey, Richard! Hey, can I get your autograph? <sighs> Fine. You have a pen and paper? What do I look like, a Staples? I don't carry that stuff around. Look, I'm sorry I can't help you. Oh, what, you too big and famous to walk over to that corner drugstore and pick up a pen and paper and possibly some other groceries I need and come back and sign several things for me? You're a jerk! My God, a TV pilot. Wow, Brian, you must feel like Hitler did after he wrote Mein Kampf. Well, we read it and we don't like it. <sighs> we love it! Oh -ho! Uh, <laughs> you uh, got me! Uh -ha. <laughs> I could have killed you, Mr. Weinberg. Ladies and gentlemen, Scarlett Johansson and, for some reason, Steve Buscemi. Man, look at that Steve Buscemi. Every one of his teeth is in business for itself. You know, Steve, the art director's job is never an easy one. That's right, Scarlett. But this year... Hey, where are you going? I'm going to the Elton John party. What the hell? I told you we were staying for the governor's ball. And I told you, Tim, we would see how the evening plays out. Ah, it's another pleasant day for me, Peter the Strawberry. Hey, Mr. Worm, I welcome your arrival, because we're all part of the same garden. Wait, wait, what are you... Oh, hey, wait, hey! Hey, get out of here! Hey! Ah, 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 ah. He was my neighbor, and he violated me. Now I'll never end up in a fancy pie. Well, it's a long shot, but so was the shouting Arab Graham business. From John and Keith. You've got to be aggressive, even more aggressive than Michael Jackson's treatment of his own groin on stage. <laughs> There's one person I really want you to meet. Oh, yeah? Who's that? The American people may have turned against the war, but I answer to a higher power. I answer to the power of Jesus Christ. Oh, well, uh, that's funny, because I happen to have Jesus Christ right here. I, I heard what you were saying. You know nothing of my work. How you ever got to be president of anything is totally amazing. Boy, wouldn't it be great if life were like this? We now return to Meredith Baxter in Raped by a Clown. It was awful. He made me do things. Awful things. What kinds of things? I don't even want to talk about it. Which means I've got to get a job. Otherwise, we'll be in worse shape than morbidly obese Albert. Hey, morbidly obese Albert. We brought you some chocolates. Oh, I can't eat those chocolates on account of my diabetes. Remember they had to take my foot? Look on the bright side. Now you get your shoes half price. Ha, ha, ha. All right, maybe I'll have one. Are you kidding? We'll go together better than Hannity and Coons. My problem with liberals, Alan, is that liberals hate America. Sean, I don't know if that's true. You just contradicted me. You hate America. If I could just get a word in. You hate America. You like the terrorists. Well, I guess you're right again. Well, Brian, looks like you're the odd man out, like a non-praying mantis. Bless us, O oh Lord, for these gifts we are about to receive. Help us to be mindful of all our blessings and... Come on, let's head home before Stewie gets hurt, like Fozzie Bear when he went to Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's good to worship Allah, because I used to worship Summer. Waka waka. <laughs> I once knew a guy who was so Arab. How Arab was he? Uh, he was so Arab that everybody liked him, and there was nothing funny about him at all. Ah, uh, your kid got beat up by a baby girl. Oh, man, this is more painful to watch than when Family Ties does a Tina Yothers episode. Jennifer, what happened in school today? I got my period. And I will see the Keaton family next week. Well, we can't just leave Mort back in time. That'd be more irresponsible than silent movie porn.
It suffered a fatal heart attack from the excitement, and I disposed of it properly. Oh, boy. I miss the old days when it was just a flaming bag of poop and a hurtful note. Well, I did write for my college newspaper. Yeah, didn't you do an interview with that fast-talking FedEx guy? Yeah, I ended up dating him for three months. That's a beautiful shade of lipstick. I bet you enjoy the music of men at work. You're incredibly foxy. Take off your shirt, take off your pants. Wow, what a body. That feels good. I'll give you a call. You better get tested. Peter, it's been eight hours, and I haven't heard back from Cleveland or Quagmire. I even tried Joe. This is my wheelchair! There are many like it, but this one is mine! Without me, my wheelchair is useless! Without my wheelchair, I am useless! Shut up! Okay. Lois, don't ruin this for me. Don't ruin this like you're ruining kick cereal. Mmm, this kick cereal is good tasting. And it's good for you. Nah. Oh boy, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. I, uh. I misspoke. <laughs> 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 Stupid hat. Damn it. I paid 15 cents for this ticket. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. God, could he be any more annoying? Oh, hey, it's Tom. Tommy! <laughs> hey, hey, I hear you took that black chick home. Hey, hey, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, Quagmire and Cleveland are great with kids, like Robin Williams and Patch Adams. Oh, everybody's lying around in here. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What am I in Congress? Ho oh, ho. See? Laughter is the best medicine. Please, sir, I'm in so much pain. Shut up and listen to my material. Ho, oh, what's this? Bedpan, Peter Pan. Oh, next stop is Neverland. Come, Wendy, fly with me. Ho oh, oh. ho. We went to Barney's. I heard that's where all the famous people shop for skinny leg jeans. Whoa! These are the tightest, penis compressingest, sperm killingest, testicle grippingest jeans I ever tried on! It's, it's all I have so far. That was horrible. You're as bad as Beethoven near the end. They're gonna love that. Oh boy, I usually only get this excited when they say the title of a movie in the movie. I'm telling you, these drug dealers represent a clear and present danger to the United States. Eh, eh, he said it, he said it. All I'm saying is, what if this is as good as it gets? Eh, eh, there it is, there it is. The only way for me to solve this crisis is to be Superman 4, the quest for peace. Oh, that's why they call it that. I have been taking it slow. We've been going out for three weeks and I haven't tried anything, even though she's been giving me some pretty strong signals. So, do you have any thoughts on what you might want to do tonight? Oh, I don't know. Don't listen to Brian Lois. You'd be great on camera, like I was when I played that dead body on Law and Order. Well, until I got that itch in my crotch. The contusion on his left temple implies he was hit by a blunt object, and the cuts imply a struggle. So it was murder. But the question is who? Well, whoever it was wears nail polish. We found traces in the wounds. Well, that narrows it down. At least we know it wasn't the father. Yeah, but we still gotta find out... Ah, uh, thank God. You need to stop pointing fingers and get out of the house. Have some fun. Real fun. Not like 37-year-old woman on a blind date fun. Oh, this is fun, right? We're having fun. I mean, so what if you forgot your wallet? I'll pay. I'm gonna pay for us. You'll get it next time, yeah. So you were in prison, right? Killed a man? Oh, I'm sure it was in self-defense. No, I just felt like killing. The best stories. <laughs> Me and my three eggs are having the best time. We now return to Robert Mitchum in Out of Shape, In Shape Guy from the 50s. Gambling is illegal in this town. Says who? Says me. You got a problem with that? I'm not really sure. Kind of waiting for you to exhale. <sighs> Actually, yeah, I do have a problem with that. And all the juice is being collected underneath? Yes, and whoever collects the most is going to win a free weekend here at the Chateau with international foods and wine tasting. Stop! Uh -huh. Oh! 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 Oh!
Son of a bitch. Looks like I'm gonna have to pile dinner on top of that. Hey, guys, how are ya? When we're done with him, he'll be more of an outcast than a seagull at an Adam Sandler movie. This is my old bicycle that I had from when I was 10. Sometimes the banana seat hurts my hiney. Will you shut up? You shut up, man. It's a comedy. When I ring the bell, it makes my pants feel funny. Ring, ring, ring. And when he does, I'll grab his hand and yank him out of there. Peter, I don't think... Shh, it's starting. Two and a Half Men was filmed in front of a live ostrich. Boy, this stinks. It's Friday night and I don't have a date. Well then, let me get you a number from my little black book. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> oh, wow, that was super loud. Well, I wish I happen to be a Muslim now, which means I'll be spending a lot of my time in mostly empty cafes watching soccer on an 8-inch black and white TV. Peter, this is my friend Omar. He can teach you many things about our faith, including how to ululate. What's that? It's this. Oh my god, that's terrifying. I don't know if I'm ready for that. No, Peter, it's okay. Just sing the beginning of La Bamba, but don't say the La Bamba part. Oh, okay. La, 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 yes, good job, you're doing it! Bamba! Ooh, so close. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Mahmood. You know, I actually feel really bad for him. Do you know he knew 19 guys who died on 9-11? I mean, what are the odds? Peter, I think you joined a terrorist sleeper cell. I'm gonna call Mahmood right now on this cell phone he gave me. He'll tell you. Damn phone's busted. Maybe I'll drive! <laughs> Okay, you're good to go. We'll go celebrate at the clam. That's a great idea. Yeah, I think we could all use a drink. Tell you what, let me call Horace and tell him to get our table ready. Peter, did you just... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Allahu Akbar! Get home before Stewie gets hurt, like Fozzie Bear when he went to Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's good to worship Allah, because I used to worship Summer. Waka waka. I once knew a guy who was so Arab. How Arab was he? Uh, he was so Arab that everybody liked him, and there was nothing funny about him at all. But you've missed so much. Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar! I'll be with Allah soon. What? Uh, yeah, he doesn't know what he's saying. He's delirious. Look, you better get moving. All right, Stewie, let's go get the sleigh ready. Is anyone else a little freaked out by that Allah thing? Never mind that. Let's just get going. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. And I'm Joyce Kinney. Our top story, Quahog prepares to unveil a new statue commemorating perhaps its greatest hero ever. That's right, Tom. It was ten years ago that an almost inconceivable plot to destroy the World Trade Center was thwarted by Quahog's own Brian Griffin. This amateur video captured Griffin's heroism in the face of a shadowy terrorist organization called Holy <laughs> Look at all those vowels. al qai -da. Here, make sure you get all this. <laughs> Time to terrorize the terrorists. Ugh, you prepared catchphrases for yourself? No, not necessarily. <laughs> Mohammed Atta stayed home. Nobody knows that guy's name yet. You're using information that nobody knows. Houston, we have a solution. Houston's for space, not everyday air travel. Tell him to ground every plane out of the East Coast. Seacrest out. <laughs> Wow, what a hero. Coming up next in sports, Arizona Cardinal Pat Tillman, tackled by his own team. Oh, Brian, we're so proud of you. Yeah, buddy, great job stopping those terrorists. And thank God their follow-up attack on St. Louis was a bust. We missed! Thanks, Mom. Did I do good? Can I wear Grandpa's jacket now? I, I don't know why you always ask for that. That's, that's not a thing in our family. But we should get you a haircut and clean this house up. The dance is in a few days. Yeah, I wish I could help, Lois, but I'm a little busy being an Uber driver now. Wait, are you the one who took my car? I reported it stolen. Ah, oh, well, that explains that high-speed chase yesterday. Brian, you caused a man to be run over in a phone booth. What was a guy doing in a phone booth? Why, waiting for drugs, of course. 
Hey, uh, Stilts, on your way out, could you get a wiffle ball out of our gutter? It's been up there for like three months. I threw it at a bee. Why do you have a will on here? When you die, we bury you in the garden so we get better tomatoes. We now return to CNN's continuing coverage of the rescue of Guy Fieri's toilet. What you're looking at is live footage from Guy Fieri's house where this toilet's 12-year ordeal has just come to an end. Toilet, what was it like after he ate those dragon chili cheese fries? Look, I can't talk right now. I just need to get something solid in me for once. Really? How could my own parents do this to me? I'd be better off with Mr. and Mrs. Aguilera. Okay, so we'll name it Michael if it's a boy and Christina if it's a nightmare. We now return to Finding Your Roots on PBS. So, Danny DeVito, what do you know about your heritage? Not much. Our family photos were all burned in a fire. I think we came from Sicily. Well, we have a surprise for you. Your great-great-grandparents were a pumpkin and a hamburger. They're beautiful! I can't believe this! I'm made of the best fillings of ravioli! Oh, crap, I better get out of here. Here comes CSI Missouri. Looks like someone done dang got himself killed. Well, I reckon one thing. Somebody's going up the river. The mighty Mississippi. Hey, I was thinking of heading down the river. You want to go halvesies on a raft? Sure, but can you spot me? I've never been paid, ever. Yeah, I got it. Okay, it says Armin is arriving with our raft right now. You, Huckleberry? All right, Lenny, this looks good. Now, the trick to getting off a moving train is waiting for the exact right... Ow! Phew. Now I know why that railroad was called the B&O. It stands for Baltimore and Ohio! Whoa, calm down. No! Mental defectives know a lot about trains! I'm saying I'm done with you. Now go take the bus home with the rest of the poor people. The bus? Ah, I was aiming for the church. God angry now! Ay 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 ay! Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, a boom shadow from the sound guy we can't fire because his wife died. There it is. But first, Quahog says goodbye to an old friend. Oh my god, I just got four more matches! This is amazing! This is the greatest invention since the firecracker! Gentlemen, after many years of research, we finally did it. We've solved the problem of too many fingers in Florida. Okay, kids, we're going to start practice as soon as I get that guy out of here. I'm 60 yards away! <sighs> All right, I, I guess if a loose ball goes over there, just don't go. This whale's beached himself. He needs to get back in the water or he'll die. Step aside, I'll handle this. Give me some room. Your whale come. <laughs> oh, cool shell. Ah! Okay, that is the last time you are gonna pull that crap. Ah! You hear me? Yes. Do you hear me? Ah! Yes. Ah! 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 
Now you are gonna hold down that football until Charlie Brown kicks it. You got that? <laughs> yes. Go ahead, Charlie. What do you want, Griffin? Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser Busch billboard next to the Children's Hospital? Well, watch this. Oh God. Oh my God, this is horrible. Oh God. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good Lord, save them. Bless their li Oh, okay, okay, yeah. There we go. All right, everything worked out. And everyone's just standing around doing nothing, like the whole world during the Holocaust. Too true. Never again. Okay, now we've earned this gag about an anti-Semitic pigeon. Ugh, my allergies. And everything else. Just terrible. Choo, choo. All right, let's go. What should we leave for a tip? The food and service were both great. Give them the full 3%. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Choo, cheap, choo. This is why I hate going outside. <laughs> that was hilarious. And again, the global community's inaction during the Holocaust was unforgivable. Oh man, this toothpick is the best! I'm not going anywhere without it. Like Batman and his futility belt. I can't get these locks open. Don't you have something in your belt? Oh yeah, maybe. Let's see. I have some hockey trading cards, a post-it with some hair stuck to the edge, something that might be a Rolaid. I don't know, it's just loose. Hurry, it's getting closer! I have some stamps. Oh, you know what? It's a cert. Peter well, that was awkward. Like a stranger trying to make conversation. Long line, huh? There's two of us. Reminds me of that Steinfeld episode, No Sauce for You, <laughs> right? You missed both of them. I can't believe that show's still on. It's not. I really like that Julia Richard Dreyfus, though. Ugh. Mr. Sanders, thank you for waiting. Here's the medicine for your brain injury. Oh, now I feel bad. Hello? Dad, Grandpa burned us with a curling iron, so we're at Farrell's Ice Cream. Would you come get us? I can't understand you. Stop calling me. Stupid foreigners. This group needs quagmire. Just like an Asian man needs facial hair to be taken seriously. I'm sorry, we're out of orange chicken. I don't believe you. He's right. We ran out two hours ago. You, I believe. ...to do something different and creative. Really? What about being a pilot? It's just not a challenge anymore. These days, the autopilot does everything. Can I get you anything, Captain? You can get me some of this, toots. <gasps> okay, I guess I'll just sit here and read a fucking magazine. What? Drugging a baby? My god, that's a worse idea than letting Bono pick out his own glasses. No, no, no. I need something way more ridiculous. Something that a cartoon villain would wear. Well, I do have some horn rims. Look, you're not hearing me. I need my glasses to look like something either not yet invented or from an ancient Egyptian tomb. And if possible, they should look as though they cost a million dollars, but also came free in a box of cereal. Perhaps I can be of help, Mr. Bono. You have somewhat of a square face, so to offset that, I recommend these frames, made for an intergalactic homosexual. Perfect. Ah, oh, like Christopher Columbus. Guys, I know this has been a long voyage. Half of us have died of starvation. We all saw Billy rot out from the stomach. We saw Roger's face get eaten by a seagull. And who could forget when Dave's bum sealed shut until he filled with poo and died. But it's all gonna be worth it. Trust me, because the spices here are amazing. Our mattress still has the chalk outline from where my Uncle Leonard got killed by his third wife. She poured boiling grits on his privates and then shot him. You sleep on that? Well, I flipped it over. Don't be so hard on yourself, Peter. Your life's not over yet. Come on, it's not like I can go back to school at my age. I'll never be a doctor. The best I could hope for is a male nurse who's probably killing all his patients. Well, I'm going home. Griffin, you have another eight hours on your shift. Now, what about your patients? They all died with dignity, God bless them. But first, sad news from the Quahog Zoo as a baby panda on loan from China is undergoing emergency treatment for what appears to be tater tot poisoning. The Chinese ambassador was quoted as saying, Ooh, tiger mom, egg foo young, practice your piano math. I don't know, probably not that. You're in for some pain, but when I'm done with you, you'll be a helpful dog, like one of them St. Bernards with a mini cask of brandy. Help! I've broken my leg! Okay, well, I have a scumbag's fancy drink. I know, it's great! 
And with all the time Brian is saving me, I've been able to spend more time working with my foundation that gives impoverished nations things they don't want or need. All right, let's get this stuff out fast, guys. These people have nothing. All right, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty, so each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. All right, I'll see you guys next month, because I got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck. I love Peter. I'd follow him anywhere. Except onto an elevator. He fat, man. Oh, Lois, I'm so glad you're here. I really need to pee. Go ahead. I'll handle the kids. No, you need to come with me. The toilets are all like one foot off the ground, so I need to hold on to your arm while I lower myself down. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Boy, you guys sure packed a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, we're gonna be gone a week. Me, I travel light. Just two shirts, two pairs of pants, and the machine that does the work of my large intestine. We brought a machine that gives Lois orgasms. What is in here? The soap, the little tray the soap was on, and the sink. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Are you also married? Now, Meg, in order to get you into fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. Hello, white kids and Indian kid adopted by neighborhood gays. Quick announcement before we get started. Uh, this is the last call for chopped bunless hot dogs and ketchup. Last call for chopped bunless hot dogs and ketchup. Oh, Asher, let's get you one. Humpty, your sock is drooping. You should totally pull it up. Really? I, I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. Just lean a little further and get it. <laughs> ah! You think you can bang Leslie and I'm not going to do anything about it? Look, there they are! Just wanted to wish you guys luck. Hey, I've always wondered, why the turtlenecks? Oh, these? Well, we like the look, it's drafty on stage, and we all have Aryan Nation tattoos on our necks. Break a leg! Ugh, Brian's not qualified to work at a hardware store. That'd be like having a timid clansman. I just think you should get out of town. I think it would be so great if you went back to where you came from. Okay, here goes nothing. Can I help you? Lemon squares? Keep the pan. He's gonna stay. Oh, fiddlesticks. Chris Griffin, we'll start with your candidate statement. <coughs> Come on, Stewie. Forget it. <coughs> ah! Damn it, that's enough! You've treated me horribly! What's our position on extended library hours? The library can suck my dick! <laughs> that was good! What else you got? Listen, Tiffany, you seem really great, and I need to come clean with you about something, because... Well, if I don't, there's two guys who are gonna tell you anyway. I have herpes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be an issue. And the truth is, I like you so much, I'd do anything to make this work. Oh my god, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I, I feel the same way. Oh, Tiffany, you know, you know, I know this is crazy and, like, super sudden, but... Will you... You're gonna die alone, you dick. Oh, thank god she didn't catch the kid I hired to replace Chris. Thank you for wearing the baseball cap forward. I, I know it's uncomfortable for you, but it, it, it really sold it. Hey, Chris, have you seen my fart? I left one in the hallway about an hour ago, and I think I left my keys in it. Oh, is that it? Ah, yes. And the mystery of the missing keys has been solved. Hi, Stewie. I love your house. Where are your servants? They're in the kitchen being groped by Arnold Schwarzenegger. May I offer you an iced tea? Shut the door! It's all right. I'm probably better off in my old school anyway. Well, I'm just glad everything's back to normal and we... <laughs> I know what he was doing, and I don't like it. I figured fancy guys like you only drink in hotels. 
The hotel threw me out. I used a mustard bottle to write Dallas Portland's a dick on the wall. Oh, yeah, I did that once at a hotel, but it was pee and I didn't write anything. Look, Tom, Tom, before you do anything crazy, answer me one question. Why is it I have a house and you have an apartment? Yeah, maybe you should jump. If you or a loved one have been prescribed the drug Luxanol and experienced facial bloating, ear leakage, and spontaneous mouth bleeding, you may be entitled to a large cash settlement. Why is there never any programming for me? We're done! Cleveland, slam the door! Now lock all our city black person locks! Our house is also a liquor store. Lois, know you're here? No clue. I brought beer. I brought pot. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought pot. I brought acid. Oh, well, now I feel stupid. I brought crystal meth. I brought ten rounds of chemotherapy. I think we may have gone too far. Now I feel bad for laughing at my dad when he went through this. Coward! I have found you! Ah! Oh my god, Stewie, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance. This could need stitches. We don't want this to leave a scar. No, there's no time for an ambulance. We gotta take him to the hospital right away. Guys, I'm all right. I, I think Meg... Oh my god, he's delirious. He's talking nonsense. Quick, everybody in the car! Oh my god, look you guys, it's death! Hey, has anyone got a cell phone I can borrow? God's been paging me for like 20 minutes. Wait, you still use a pager? Yeah, well, we thought once we got Steve Jobs in heaven we'd all get iPhones, but he never showed up. Wait a minute. You work with God? Oh, death, we've been looking all over for that guy. Will you take us to him? Sure, but don't you mean her? <laughs> look at your faces! Of course it's the dude, come on, let's go. Well, as I understand it, Daddy's cheer squad had another failed dismount. We know that we are the B E S T. <laughs> ah! Ah, oh, Brittany, you dumb slut! I said I was gonna cradle out! How did you not hear me? That's right, Chris is my new heir. And now to show you my overwhelming love and affection. Okay, that's enough. You're not my wife. Anyway, I want you to have the money. You're the only person who understands this crazy world. Except for maybe Anne way too frank. Dear Diary, when this war is over, I'm gonna get a cucumber and work it into a pickle. And you can take that to the Bank of Berlin. Phew, good thing no one's ever gonna read this. Look at this 1940s tampon. I know. Isn't that something? That's how they used to do it back then. It's just sawdust in a burlap sack. You had to jump on it from a second floor window. We'll take it to Gross Will. Oh, here's me getting my first haircut. Here's me getting my 351st haircut. And here's when I couldn't take no more. I killed that barber. It's weird being here without Grandma. I keep thinking she's gonna walk through that door any minute. Oh, honey, I, I know, but I'm afraid she's dead. This is real life, not some magical fairy tale. And so... Okay, wait, 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 look, 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 look. There's... there's something about death that I didn't tell you before because... Kids aren't supposed to know about it till they get older. Ooh, an adult secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, when someone dies, uh, they, they actually do go somewhere. Uh, uh, heaven. Really? What's it like? Well, first of all, you can have any hairstyle you want instantly. You, you don't have to go through that awkward growing it out phase. But do you still get to go to the salon? Of course, you have to get it set. And everyone in heaven only speaks English. None of those mumbly, yelly languages. What about clicky, flemmy ones? No, nope, none of those either. And every corner has a fire and ten fire engines putting it out. Do they have a person to ring the bells? No, they need someone to do that. Oh, that's my thing! All right, here I come! Well, wait, hang on, you, you, you can't kill yourself, though, because, because they don't let you in if you do that. So Brody Jenner's not gonna be there? What? He didn't kill himself. He didn't? Oh, no, so he's choosing to live as Brody Jenner? That's so sad. Well, I'm glad everything's back to normal. Peter, your mother's dead. Yeah, but at least she's alive. What are you talking about, Peter?
Well, you see, Lois, the key in life is to lie to yourself about reality. Smile through everything. All the bad things, well, you just pile them away in a place that will come back one day in the form of, I don't know, rage? But everything's fine. I'll see you in bed. Oh, great. I'm gonna get killed by a cat. They'll never let me live this down in doggy heaven. <laughs> hey, there's that guy who got killed by a cat. <laughs> Shut up. How'd you guys die? We bit kids. Woo! Biting kids! Yeah, unpettable! I miss biting kids. Ugh, the elevator's taking forever. I I'm just gonna use the stairs. There were two homeless people eating each other in there. Hey, I'd like to ride your ass into Jerusalem. Wow! There's something in it this year! Settle down, Meg. It's the upstairs bathroom trash. There's only one rule here at Peach Blossom Plantation, Stewie. Courtesy. Well, I got a confession to make, Daddy Johnson. I got a hankering for some mischief. Well, now that's in direct conflict with the rule. My rule is honesty. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. But it don't mean I doesn't love you, Daddy Johnson. Oh, Stewie, you done gone and buried your way into my heart like a field mouse. But I still gots to discipline you. Should I strip to my ankles, Daddy Johnson? I was just gonna give you a talking to, but yeah, just shoes and socks, Stewie. I like the South. We got different ways than they do up North, but it seems to work for everyone. Wow. A lot of people OD at these things. Oh, yeah. This episode of Family Guy is brought to you by Macmillan Mass Grave Excavation Equipment. When you think mass graves, think Macmillan. It's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back in and out a few times? I was born nine times that day. Don't worry, Lois. I'm gonna find that tricycle. I'll just have four to five beers to stop the shaking, and then I'll go outside. You know what, Peter? Maybe we can give you a hand. Yeah, we'll help you look. I'm in. All right, guys, let's solve this mystery. And you kids at home can help us solve the mystery, too. Just go to FamilyGuyKids.com. Aw, oh, it's just someone crapping in his hand. All right, now you gotta get in good with Heather's family. If her parents like you, she's gonna want to sleep with you. Mr. Garbage, I appreciate that I'm a guest in your home, but Barack Obama is still my president, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna sit here and let you talk about him like that. Shut up, Heather! I am talking to your father! And you, Mrs. Garbage, I'll thank you to stop sticking your foot in my crotch! And Jimmy Jr., just tell him you're gay! It's so obvious! Peter, is Crystal in bed? Oh, I hope he didn't take it too hard when you made him get rid of that doll. Oh, God! Good morning, everybody. Heather won't be having breakfast. She already had a big sausage. Oh, wait, so we do have sausage? Because I asked for sausage, and I was given bananas and applesauce. Why did we bring them to a shelter instead of an adoption agency? Oh, less paperwork. Yeah, this is for the best. I mean, I'm sure they'll be adopted. I know these is kind of unusual, but we'll take whatever we can get. Well, that's just like Cleveland, running off as soon as the bill arrives. Oh, he's paid off all your tabs. Well, that's just like Cleveland, always throwing money around. We now return to Sassy Sitcom Secretary in real life. Well, according to the research company, we need to find a way to make the product appeal more to men. Too bad there's no men working here. Uh, hey, Janine, come back here. Don't ever talk to your boss that way. I was, I was just trying to be funny. This is a marketing firm. We're not here to tell jokes. You're fired. <laughs> Last week, she wanted me to pretend she was the head of the company because her parents were in town. Who does that? All right, there's no pudding, but there is a supermodel and we're making out. Lucky dog. Wait a minute. There's a kid up here. Don't hold him like that. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a black... A black... Go ahead. A blanket. I'm just a stupid old blanket. What a lousy life this is. All right, you saved it. All right. 
What better place to find God than the birthplace of all of Western civilization's great religions and one really mean one? I had a feeling this is what this place would be like. Oh, God, Why it's so hot out. Why so parking downtown? Who gets married on a get off these bad feet? Ailments. Oh, look, Joe's feeding them pennies. Oh, oh? Somebody take a picture. I can't believe we didn't find God. Uh-oh. Looks like the mob knew we were coming. It's him! Get him! Oh, no! We're done for! No, we're not! I'm the fastest Jew in the world! I miss the old days when it was just a flaming bag of poop and a hurtful note. Huh, that's curious. I didn't realize your mother was a Holocaust survivor. My mother? Oh, no, that's, that's impossible. She's not Jewish. According to her birth certificate, she is. Oh, my God. Wow. Breast cancer's starting to look pretty good. Peter, I'm the one with the Jewish heritage, and I really don't want to make a big deal out of this. Leave it to a Jew to take all the fun out of being a Jew. Now listen up. I like the hat and I like the scarf, so we're doing this. And instead of lasting for one day, the oil in the lamp lasted for eight days. And that is why we celebrate Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long before we play pin the eviction notice on the black guy's door? Now, does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I have a question. What are you going to do when Jesus comes back and puts a boot up your ass? Right, class. That's all for today's lesson. Now, everyone off to gym class. All right. Today, we're going to play soccer. Huh, that was easy. Oh, and hang on, before we do anything, I'd like to say a blessing over the candles, if I may. Now, bear with me, I haven't had much rehearsal time. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Kiddishanu B'Mitzvatov V'Tzivanu Lehad Leknea Shel Yom Tov Can't we just eat? Okay, okay, I'll push the thing. I love you for all that you are. <laughs> In spite of the fact that your people control a disproportionate amount of the world's wealth and in all likelihood are probably responsible for starting every major war since the dawn of time. Dude, again with this? What's your problem? Who's in the bush? Mind your own business, you stupid Jew. Well, the only mouse in this neighborhood is our innocent neighbor, Frank Maxwell. Comrade Mauskowitz, did you think you could run forever? I, uh, I think you've got the wrong mouse. I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Good day, ma'am. Whoa! You killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew Mouse! Ha -ha! Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. Under parody law, in order to use someone else's character in an unlicensed fashion, we have to provide something called commentary. The commentary here is that Mickey Mouse hates Jews. This is my Jew flattening machine. It'll flatten any Jew. Simply climb behind the wheel, drive it towards a Jew, and flatten him. Could you also use it just to drive from place to place and stuff? It, it's a Jew flattening machine. It, it's not what it's designed for. But you could use it that way. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could also use the Mona Lisa as a placemat. God. I, I, excuse me. Uh, we're, we're looking for a Mr. Goldman. Mr. Mort Goldman. He's a small business owner. Tends to whine a lot. Kind of a hypochondriac. Oh, no, you, you can't put your hand back up after you've put it down. You know what? Never mind. That's a nice muscly throwing arm you got there. Uh, thanks. Got a nice tip for you right here in my pocket for my arthritis. Why don't you reach in there and fish it out for yourself? Next up is John Herbert with Sweet Child of Mine. Can you raise it six octaves? Okay, this one's for Nathan M. I'm looking for a car that's been tricked out to look like an ice cream truck. Damn it. 
I'm, I'm sorry, what? You know, with colorful pictures of ice cream treats. And it plays a tune that's fun for the young children. Da 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 You've spent time watching children, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I have. Well, I'm all done shoveling your walk, Mr. Herbert. Thanks, Chris. But there's some in here, too. You like popsicles? Well, sure. And you need to come on down to the cellar. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. No, thanks. I gotta get going. Oh, don't make me beg now. Ha <laughs> You're funny. Bye. Get your fat ass back here. Oh, no. There's no police here to help me. I hope you don't find the money strapped to my thigh. Holy moly. It must be my birthday. Hi, I ran away from home. Do you mind if I live with you? Live with me? My goodness, I feel like I'm gonna pinch myself to see if I'm dreaming. Hot dog, it's real! Come on, Herbert, rope this calf. Would $600 a week change your mind? Uh, would it? <laughs> you got a deal. And I can pay you under the table. I like to make a little fort under there. I call it Four Dicks. Did you hear that, Dad? He'll pay us six hundred dollars. Uh, yeah. D did you not hear about Fort Dix? It's the end of the world. Holy crap! Seems like I've run out of waiting time. My dad's helping me find a hobby. Well, you sure got a pretty morning for it. Chris, don't waste our time with the elderly. They're dying. Please, God, let me just sniff his hat. Let me just sniff his hat. That's all I want. Now I want more. Ma'am, I hate to be a nuisance, but your son stopped kicking the back of my chair. Mm. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, look. Everybody but Chris, just keep your pants on and let's figure a way out of this. Most of the surviving American pilots were taken to POW camps, but for some reason, they thought I was gay. So I was taken to Doc Howe. So what'd you end up doing with those old robots anyway? I just left them out on the curb for the trash man. How can this not be a trap? Hello there, Kyle. You look nice today. I see you wearing your big shorts with the baggy leg holes that flutter so carelessly in the breeze. Hey there, little fella. I'm 48. This whole place is a giant mindfuck. He replaced my Cialis with methamphetamines. Pedal faster! I can't go any faster! Where you going, kids? Hey, I just want to talk to you. Why don't you come over to my place for a glass of wine and a couple of fruit pies, and then we can go in the back room and play crazy snakes. <laughs> Oh man, look at that kid. That is one ugly 8th grader. You don't want to hurt yourself dancing. Make sure you stretch out those creamy hamstrings. Hey, Mr. Eel. You're slippery. Oops, got away. Mmm, left my hands smelling funny. Hmm, seems like reverse time did that kid a favor. I'm not so sure about that. Stand up! You're gonna break that thermometer! The government wants to tell you how many children you can have! What? No! Ain't no shame in being chubby. You're a growing boy. Why, what's this? <gasps> wow, how'd you do that? It wasn't a trick. It was stuck to your neck. Oh, yeah, sometimes I fall asleep on candy. Oh, my God. Chris is still in there! Somebody save Chris! <laughs> You know what? He's earned that. Good night, Mr. Herbert. Sweet dreams, Chris. Mr. Herbert, what's life really all about? Well, I suppose it's about trying new things, sampling the sweet and the savory, not being afraid to take everything life wants to throw up on into you. Wow, I never looked at it like that before. Thanks, Mr. Herbert. But don't you think it's scary to try new things? No, Chris. Life is like a new baseball glove. At first, you think you're never going to get a ball in there. But then you oil it up, work your fingers around in there a little, 
And pretty soon, you're pitching and catching. I guess that makes sense. Sorry. You really know how to waste a Cialis, don't you? I want to lay down a few ground rules. No cussing, clean your plates, and only a half hour of radio, and then it's off to bed. Well, that sucks. And don't you mouth off to me, or I'm going to slap you right in your penis. No offense, Mr. Herbert, but I'm a 17-year-old girl, and I don't need you here. Well, no offense to you, Meg, but you're a 17-year-old girl, and I don't need you here. All right, let's split up and search the house. I'll go with Lois. Chris, you check the basement with Herbert. Whoa, easy there, Spencer. Now behave yourself and there'll be a withered carrot for you later. Well, Jesse, I guess we gotta find some other way to spend our evenings. And now back to ESPN's exclusive coverage of the Little League World Series. Oh, jackpot! Do you want to do a Spider-Man kiss? I'm trying to help you. Help me what? Clean your pool with my shirt off? Or wash your car in jean shorts? Bend over in front of you to get little bits of lint out of the rug? I know what you're about, Mr. Herbert. Free labor, and I'm not into it! Take your body, baby, to that conga. You know you can't control yourself any longer. Hi, <laughs> Mr. Herbert. Oh, my God. Children, run. It's that pervert. Everybody into my safety basement. Oh, oh, that was a bad snap. I'm hurt, kids. Don't eat those popsicles till I get down there. Yes, I'll take this teddy bear, this ruler, this piece of string, and this cardboard box. Mm. Can we watch Lost Boys? I've heard of that one. Those? Those are different Lost Boys. As is customary with all our new members, you now have to spend seven minutes in the closet with our most senior member. We don't start the clock until the door closes. Wouldn't I love a tinker toy? And a little drummer boy. He can either tap his drum or my rear. Y'all know what day it is? No. It's bath day. Oh, I don't want to take a bath. <laughs> Not for you, silly. It's bath day for me. But I can't wash myself. Know anybody with a pair of strong young hands to help me in and out of the tub? Oh, rats! Why are you walking so slowly? Turns out this costume is about 80% balls, and most of it's dragging behind me. Ugh. Up, we got a tangle. Oh, what do I do? Stop walking. I'll go back, you go forward. Are you sure? It's counterintuitive. I don't know, that, that When you want to go right left, to me. you go right. I'm just going to pull forward. Don't pull, don't pull. I, I think if you Stop come this way and, and I go that way. Everybody freeze. Okay, let's just think about this. I know what boys like. I know what guys want. I know what boys like. Boys like. Boys like me. If I should die... I just want you to know that they might find some things. Strange things. Things that don't make sense to you. Um, okay. And there's gonna be a lot of talk. Nasty talk. And I just want you to know, for me, it's all gonna be out of context. I don't know what that means. It means if I die, you gotta burn my house down! That new paper boy done gone and broke my sternum. Hey there, little fella. We sure got a lovely day for it, don't we? Stay away from my brother's butt. Now that one seemed less earned. Selling your old hand-me-downs? Yep. You got anything you used to wear in the summertime? Just these old shorts. Sweet Jesus. Thanks, Grandpa. Sorry, Master Herbert. Sorry? You better get your ass in that closet, Pewter Schmidt. Yes, sir. I'm so tired of you. Hey, skinny britches! That there's my man. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? You shall not pass! Oh, is that my phone? Da na 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 Up, better go get that. I'll come right down. 
Thanks, Uncle Herbert. I don't know how I could ever repay you. Well, there is one thing. <laughs> <laughs> also, if I gave you a sandwich, do you think you could get Cresta Fart on it? Obi-Wan, we meet again. What part of stay 50 yards away at all times don't you understand? Uh-oh. Your powers are weak, old man. Obi-Wan! Boy, you got here just in time. Say goodnight, you Nazi bastard. It's time to give you a proper German funeral. We are proud to present Mozart's The Magic Flute in A minor. We can settle this like reasonable and sexy teenagers. Whoever can swallow the most Tylenol PM wins. Shkosh bagosh, it's a brand new paper boy. That's a mighty full sack you're carrying. Piss off, you perverted old freak. Oh, we got a fighter. Now behave, or I'm gonna have to drop those shorts and paddle your bare bums, which is perfectly acceptable in these times, even encouraged. Oh, these wonderful times. <laughs> YMCA, it's fun to stay at the YMCA. Hmm. What the hell? Hey, little man, tell Chris to open his window. Just around the corner, there's a rainbow in the sky. Let's get out of here, other altar boys. Anybody want to see my purple heart? So no hard feelings? Nah, nah, let's just put it all behind us. Wanna come over for some tea and cookies? Sure. Are you a giving tree or a receiving tree? And he knew that sometimes the things that seem the most dangerous turn out to be the most fun. Yes, sir, it was a good day for young Peter. <laughs> Are you a pedophile? Let's get out of here, Brian. That birthday party Spider-Man is eyeing me. Hmm. Don't let me catch you, cause I'll just wrap you up and eat you later. Hee 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 What kind of birdhouse can you build with popsicles, rupees, and a mallet? It's for a rare African bird called None Your Business. <laughs> Why are you being such a jerk, Dad? D -d 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 dad Yeah, this is my dad. Well, he often said he wanted to explode all over me. He finally did. I am Herbert! I am Herbert! I am Herbert! It's almost Christmas. It's almost Christmas. Christmas? Yes, keep being good, and all the eggshells and coffee grounds will be yours. Can I meet the family? You've overstepped. No Christmas. Oh, no, my hairless twin got out. Hello, family. Let's eat all the garbage we want. We, the jury, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty. Yes. What the hell? What? what? Maybe we should get new roommates. Yeah, maybe we should. Did you like that game of Mysterious Intruder, Lois? I told you! I don't know who you are, and my name isn't Lois. Mine is. Do it again. Hey, bruh? Yup. Yeah. Ah! Damn it! Ah! There's glass in my eye! Oh! Son of a bitch! Ah! Mom says dinner's at six. She wanted me to tell people, I don't know why. Step forward, maggot. Ah! Next time, that'll be you. Well, why wasn't it him this time? Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, ah, oh, ah, Peter, stop it! Yeah, you're real big when you got that stick, ain't you? Okay, I'll stop now. Timmy, where's Lassie? She's out in the orchard, Ma. Peaches are coming in mighty early this year. Smoke. You know what they say, Timmy. Early peaches, long summer. Smoke. What's that, Lassie?
Are you smoking yet? Are you okay? No. I came in with my wife, and now I can't find her. Oh, well, I'm sure she's here somewhere. Come on, I'll help you find her. Okay. Will Lois Griffin please come to the courtesy booth? We have a little gift for you. <laughs> uh, I'm Lois. Oh, for God's sakes, Peter. Yay, Lois! Another afternoon fucking that ass. Vegan places aren't real, right? No, they're not real. Or are they? Ah, salad! Ah! I want you two to do it right in front of me, and I'm gonna throw 40 bucks on your sweaty bodies when you're done. Let's see the money. Hey! Do you have any idea what time it is? Get in the house, fatty! Looking good. Almost done. And... There. Done. <gasps> what have you done? I painted the truth. I painted my truth. Relax, Lois. I was aiming for the mailbox. I'm just trying to make a point. Good morning, Lois. Peter, ah! for God's sake! I am so sorry, Mort. No problem, Lois. That's just how people say hello to me. Hey, Joe. Hey, Mort. Let me get in that belly. Let me get in that belly. I'm going to give you a flubber kiss. Flubber belly. Pork belly. Let me just Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I got a little nervous. It's just I like you so much. Hi, Dad. Oh, what the hell? Come here, Hillary. Get out, man. Get out of the kitchen. Go on. Get out. Out, out, out. Out of the kitchen. Go on. Well, Stewie, come on. You don't know how to use that thing. Oh, really? What if I hold it sideways like a black guy? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, man. Take it easy, all right? I, I don't want any trouble. There's not going to be any trouble as long as you eat my poo. Okay, the fishing boats will be in soon. We'll fly behind them and scream like hell, and whatever they throw overboard, we get to eat. Um, you think maybe we should just get our own food? I mean, you know, we, we have beaks, we can swim. Instead of scrounging off of others, maybe can we... I, can, I, can I see you for a minute? What was that? What was that? Uh, you you, you want to be a hawk? No. Is that what you want? Because you're not. No. All right, you see any clutching talons down there? No, we I have know. web feet. I know. Well, what are you going to do, paddle your food to death? Uh, you're going to find a little field mouse and paddle him to death with your web feet? No, look, I just thought... You thought? You thought? How's that working out for you? Not very well. Not very well. Land ho! Where? Where? Psych. Made you look loser. Good thing there wasn't land or else you'd have to meet the natives with that mustard stain on your shirt. What stain? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, why did I even bring you on this trip? Because I'm the best damn land spotter in all of Europe. It's true. You are the best. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me that. We've now reached our cruising altitude. If you look out the window, you'll see the Rocky Mountains. Ah! We have to get out of here. All right, you girls ready? What's going on? <laughs> Don't you laugh at it! Knock it off! <laughs> cut, no, cut it off! Stop it! I deserve to relax, too. Spidey, can you swing us across with your web? No, I can't swing you across. And it's Spider-Man, not Spidey. I'm pretty sure I've heard people call you Spidey. Yeah, close friends. What's your name? Peter. Hey, Petey, do stuff for me. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, you don't like it. And you're a fat nobody, and I'm Spider-Man, so how do you think I feel? <laughs> Put the dog out. The dog's crying. 
Can someone put the, Lois, can someone put the dog out? I'm trying to read. Ah, what the hell? What's the matter with you? Did an ambulance go by or something? Yeah, look at this. Stop oh, that. Oh, yeah, you don't like this. Stop huh? it. Yeah. Stop this, doing that to my carpet. What Benji would do. Hey. Yeah. Knock it oh, off. Oh, boy, that feels so Stop good. Stop it. Stop that it. feels so good. Gambling is illegal in this town. Says who? Says me. You got a problem with that? I'm not really sure. Kind of waiting for you to exhale. Actually, yeah, I do have a problem with that. Zap! 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 What the? Oh, why? How'd you learn to do that? The question isn't how I do it. It's how I forgive myself for what I've done. You're there. You're there. I couldn't hear you. The radio was too loud. Are you a pedophile? I am not your dad. I am Electric Man. What the? What the hell? How do you like it? Huh? How do you like it? Peter, what in God's name is this? Wait a minute. Are, are these pieces of Stewie's crib? I hate it here. Bye! 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 <laughs> what are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God. It's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Don't move! Hold it. Freeze! Stop! Wait! No! Oh, for God's sake, why? This is why! Oh, no, no. Doggy out. What? Out of fire. I live here. No, no, a fire. But look, I'm trying... Ah! Hola? Yes, could you please put Brian back on? No, no, do doggy afuera. You're the new housekeeper, aren't you? Si. Listen, I don't want to point fingers, but I'm missing about a thousand dollars in play money. I take. Uh, what, what, you, you took it? Si. We'll give it back. Come get, bitch. Peter, what the hell happened to my underwear? They're all stretched out. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at old man McCratchen's truck. We don't want raisins on Halloween! We want candy! Hey, Quagmire, aren't you gonna get in on this? I, uh, kinda got my own game going on over here. Chris, do you remember your job? To try and get my shoes sucked into the escalator so we can sue them all. That's right, sweetie. I heard they're paying 50 grand a toe now. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> the train. Now that was the way to travel. You remember that, Chris? Not at all. Well, what about that guy in the front? He's a grown-up. He's the conductor. I don't see no orchestra. That's a different kind of conductor. Okay, well, if he's the conductor, why don't he have electrical tape wrapped around him for safety? Also a different kind of conductor. All right, thanks for joking around with me. We're going to go check out the rest of the mall. What's going on with you, man? That's a human being. Sorry, sorry. My buddy sent me a bunch of Romanian porn, and now every girl I look at, I imagine throwing onto a table. Yeah, that wasn't really the back pedal I expected. Hi, I'm Brian. Hey, I bet lots of millionaires come in here and hit on you all the time, huh? <laughs> do, we? do we? Do we do that a lot? Yeah, I guess it happens sometimes. Did you want to look at something? Already am. Hey, can I try that on? Good taste. That's our nicest men's ring. And I'll take your number. Here you go. Call me. What the hell are you doing? That ring is $10,000! Relax, Stewie. All I have to do is bring the ring back when she's not working. I'll get a refund and she'll never know. It's a perfect scam, like Teddy Roosevelt getting to be on Mount Rushmore. I won the Revolutionary War. I won the Civil War. I gained possession of Guam. Nah. Nom, 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 nom. Come on, Peter. It's time to go home. Not now, Lois. I'm making ladies feel good. Peter, I've been on my feet all day. Let's go. I'd stop, but Catherine Zeta-Jones' big hands are on the back of my head. You know what? Forget this. We're leaving. You'll find your own way home. What? Throat cancer? What? Oh, hey, how do you like my blowout? I'm pulling down so much charge, it's insane. I don't... I'm... Yuck. Lois? Oh no! I'm alone and lost in the mall! I haven't been this scared since the silence of the lamb! And I turn around and I don't know what happened to my wife, and now I'm all alone and I'm just so scared! Okay. 
Do you want to go look for your wife, or you want me to finish the makeover? I guess we might as well finish up here. When I find her, I want her to go, wow. Lois! Is your wife named Lois, too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 Well, I've looked everywhere. Maybe she left. Paul Blatt, if you're out there, I could sure use a miracle. Aboard the Ladybug Express! Ah, help! Ah, help! Oh, holy crap! Ah, 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 ah. Wait! Don't close the ball! Like an actual Amtrak train, this is dangerously out of control! That's legally defensible, by the way. On your screen is a list of actual rail disasters! Good morning, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, the secret to remaining upbeat after getting an elderly waitress. But we begin with breaking news from the Quahog Mall, where a local fat man was stuck overnight on a child's train. Yes, quite an ordeal for Quahog's Peter Griffin. So, Mr. Griffin, you were going around in circles for 12 hours. Are you suffering any ill effects from the centrifugal force? The wind on my skin is like knives. Oh my god, Bonnie, are you watching the news right now? Yes, I'm so sorry about Peter. Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. But did you see that sweet new piece of ass, Dallas, Portland? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you ask my index and middle finger? Peter, move. We need the TV. Is this... is this a coven? No, we're watching the news. Now get out of the way. We had a bottle of wine and a joint at Bonnie's house, and we want to watch Dallas, Portland before the buzz wears off. You chicken heads are out of control. <laughs> Yoga for men? Yes, says the inventor of Broga. I oh, feel like I'm cheating on Tom Bergeron. That's who you're all excited about? That chiseled Adonis with eyes the color of Summer's first blueberry? I don't know about none of that, but look at that bulge in his shorts. I've never seen a bulge in the front of a man's pants before. You see that, Peter? That's the right amount of leg hair. My leg hair's fine. I have what they call the Irish wisp. So, Peter, where are your boyfriends tonight? Lois and all of her friends are drooling over that new news guy. That Dallas Portland's a jerk. Don't even say that name. Getting out of that windstorm that screwed up my hair and loosened my tie, but also trying to forget how mad I am at Dallas Portland. You and me both, pal. That Dallas guy sucks. Why, what's your problem with him? Eh, my wife's been creaming her spinach over him. Yeah, tell me about it. Since he arrived, our ratings have skyrocketed. They're grooming Dallas, which means I'm on my way out. What? But if Dallas Portland's on TV every night, my life's gonna be a living hell. You and me both. Without the news, I, I don't know who I am. But what can you do? He's the flavor of the month. But wait a minute. Maybe if we work together, we can solve both our problems. What do you mean? Well, if he's the hot young thing and everybody loves him, all we gotta do is make you hotter and younger and thinger. And then they won't need him. All right, Tom, if you want to be young these days, you gotta do a wicked awesome GoPro skate video. Almost time for the news. Mind if I join you? I thought you hated the news. Developing story. <laughs> I like it now. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Quahog. I'm Dallas Portland. And I'm T. Homie, with the news in your mouth! What the hell's he doing? He's crushing it. News bomb! <laughs> I know what you're thinking, right? He's so random. Boy, I never realized how young and hip Tom Tucker is. Dallas Portland should just pack it up and go home. Tom's about to tattoo the word Coachella on the bridge of his nose. Is that a thing? Uh, I don't know, Grandma. I sit back and walk. Ah, he got his eye. What's wrong with you, Dallas? Never seen a guy so young and cool before. <coughs> Tumblr! <laughs> Scares. We'll be back after message from state-run industry. Peter, you were the one who told Tom Tucker to try all that nonsense on TV? You realize you cost that man his job. Well, how was I supposed to know? Katie Couric went on TV and stuck a tube up her butt and they threw her a parade. That was a colonoscopy. This is kind of your fault, you know. I mean, you're the one who was drooling over that Dallas Portland. I was just trying to get that guy off the air. Peter, that's ridiculous. He's just some pretty boy who doesn't mean anything. <sighs> you're right. 
Poor Tom. Thanks to me, he's fallen even further than Charlie Rose. Today on CBS This Morning, we'll be talking about how much sleep you need to not be drunk from the night before. That's not what we're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. What the hell do you want? I'm here to say, I'm sorry about what happened. Let me make it up to you. I'm the one who made you lose your job. I'll find you a new one. Don't bother. I'm washed up. Everyone saw what I did. And besides, I... I can't do anything else. I was born to be a newsman. I, I want to help you get back on your feet. Go home, Peter. You've already done enough. Thanks to you, it's over for me. Like Billy Zane. Sorry I let you down, Tom. Oh my god! Look! I'm on the roof! Holy crap! Doritos Tacos is only for a limited time? And oh no! Tom Tucker's gonna jump! Tom, I got here as fast as I could. So, so what's, what's going on? It's over for me, Peter. If I can't anchor the local news, I have no reason to live. Look, Tom, Tom, before you do anything crazy, you should know one thing. I have that exact same bathrobe. Hey, Tom, the camera's gonna be on you in a second. What the hell are you doing here? What am I doing? Getting an interview with a crazed jumper on the brink of suicide. This is huge! Wait a second. You heard wrong, Dallas. There's a jumper here, but it ain't Tom. It's me. What? That's right. Tom was just trying to talk me down. And if there's a news story here, the only one I'm giving it to is Tom Tucker. Good evening, Cohog. This is Tom Tucker atop a roof where a local crazy person is preparing to end it all. Bonnie, Tom Tucker's back on the news. Oh, here you are. Tom Tucker's back. I know. Uh, tell us, crazy person, why are you doing all this? I'll tell you why. I'm doing this because I ruined a guy's life. And I feel awful about it. It's the only thing I can think of to make things right. I think I speak for all our viewers when I say, don't do this. Please, come down off this ledge with me. You got it. If that's what the most trusted newsman in Quahog wants. It's fine, he landed on people. Wait, wait, hang on a second, Shelby. I can't hear you over my brokers. Buy! Sell! Buy! Buy! Wow, buying and selling? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll see you Saturday. I better go, my helicopter's here. Fadoo, 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 fadoo! Are you still... By the way, you have no idea what a helicopter sounds like. Are you still keeping up this charade? Yeah, but it's perfect. Shelby's already off work, so I'll just grab the ring, and we can bring it back before they close. If you're referring to the ring that I thought was a lug nut, I ate it. What? Why would you eat a lug nut? I was dared. By who? By myself. I have low self-esteem. We should check in on this guy, Mo. Oh my god, this can't be happening! Chris, that was a diamond ring! Do you know how expensive that was? I'm sorry, Brian. But don't worry, it'll come out of my body sooner or later. He's right. I ate a dime once. It became a manhole cover for like three days, but then POW! Yay, like at a sleepover! I love you. You're loved. Why are we at a health food store? Well, we gotta get that ring out of you. And this is a place where people buy disgusting cereals to help them poop. Well, which one should we buy? I don't know, let's ask. Are there any gray-haired lesbian art teachers who can help us select a fiber cereal? This won't take long. We know your large dogs are tied up outside. <laughs> All sex is rape! All sex is rape! When I first joined this cause, I was just trying to get this guy to poop. But now? We're this close to getting sex outlawed in the United States! All right, Chris, nothing's gotten that ring out yet. That's why we brought you to this fast food roast beef restaurant. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Angus steak melt. I'm sorry, are you here to poop something out? Yes. Okay, this line is just for regular diners. You need to get in that line. Excuse me, is this the line for people who need to puke something up? I think this is just the poop line. Cheers. You know what restaurant we're talking about. I don't know what else to do. We've tried everything. Brian, the jeweler closes at six. You don't have much time left to return that ring. You're right. You know, Brian, this wouldn't have happened if you were just honest with women and had an ounce of integrity. Don't pull rank on me. You ate a ring, you worthless tub of crap. Yeah? Well, who's gonna be fishing through a tub of crap soon, you unemployed butt munch? Whoa, whoa, let's calm down, guys. Shut up, you unemployed butt munch! Okay. Hey, Lois, what's going on here? Oh, it's my book club, Peter. Come join us. Oh, okay. I faked my own death once. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> no dentist appointment for this guy. But we welcome all of God's children in their hour of need. Well, actually, I think we need it for more than an hour. Or do we, right, Lois? <laughs> I, I do not last very long. Look at this, Cleveland. Front of the bus, back of the bus, middle of the bus. You guys are doing great. So I'm going to measure your penis, and then I'm going to measure my penis, and we're going to see who's is bigger. Doesn't really seem fair. All right, let's see what you get. Stupid game, anyway. I have to say, Peter, I am impressed by how much you have committed yourself to Islam. Are you kidding? It's awesome. I even started wearing leather sandals with way too long toenails. See how the big ones are getting yellow? Ah, yes. Very Muslim. We did it! We found the treasure! You know what, Peter? Why don't you open it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll open it. Here, hold this. Well, then sell the cow! And be sure you get real money for it. What else would I get? I don't know. Magic beans? There are magic beans? I don't know. Who cares? Well, what's magic about them? Don't get magic beans, you idiot! What? I, I never even freaking heard of magic beans till you said them. If I do get them, it's you what caused it. Oh, come on. I'm supposed to go into town and sell this cow. Oh, you're selling that cow? I don't have much, but I'll give you some magic beans for it. Oh, <gasps> that's exactly what I was supposed to get. I said not magic beans. Look, well, let's just admit we both kind of got our wires crossed and commit to being clearer in the future. Well... Looks like it's just you and me, Shadow. Shadow! Hey, Peter, my kid's selling Girl Scout cookies. And we're collecting for Janet's pregnant. Softball sign up? Trick or treat for UNICEF? Oh, pitch in for Ed's retirement cake? Holiday party? Whoa! Company picnic? Secret set? Carpool info? Oh, finally! Now I can get myself to the. Oh, so it, it was it was just your medicine, huh? Well, I guess I can understand that. You know, I'm addicted to nasal spray. I smell everything. I'm invincible. <laughs> I'm probably going to be a little down until I use the spray again. In Greece, it was commonly held that one could speak to the gods from the top of Mount Olympus. We should probably go there. What do you mean, gods? There's more than one? Yes, Peter. Greece is polytheistic. Quick, Peter, say something so he thinks you know what he's talking about. Words. Yeah, you get it. Man, how the hell am I gonna quit smoking? I wish smoking could just quit me instead. Thank you for meeting me here. I have something very important to tell you. I have something important to tell you, too. Peter, I think we should see other people. Okay. Uh, good. That's what I was gonna say, too. I thought you liked working at the toy factory. Hell no. I always wanted to be a podiatrist. Thanks to you, Dr. Griffin, my bunion is healed and I can walk without pain. This isn't a joke. I once had legitimate aspirations. Jack? 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 Jack. 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 What is that? Hey. Me. Are you going to open this door, or am I going to start killing people? I'm not opening it. Excuse me, I'd just like to ask the mom behind me who told me to stop watching Game of Thrones on my laptop if I'm still the worst person on this plane. You, fat guy, get up here! Yeah! Ah! Last chance. Peter, what the hell? Where's your ski mask? It's kind of hard to breathe in those things, so I just dressed up like Harry Potter. <sighs> All right, let's go. Lois, if anything should happen to us, I want you to know I haven't been happy for a long time. Yes, Peter, you've told me that like ten times. All right, all the lights are out. They must be asleep. It's go time. Peter, what the hell was that? That's what you do, Lois. 
Okay, now take this walkie-talkie and confirm that I'm at the various checkpoints. Ah, uh, okay. Peter up on a telephone pole? Check. Peter cutting the wires to the alarm? Check. Sexy Peter distracting the guards? Check. Hello, boys. Come up and have sex with me sometime. Van full of Peters who all have stern faces because they're about to pull off a heist. Check. Upside down Peter, who isn't revealed to be upside down until the camera spins around and shows that he is. Check. Peter in an open airplane door, slapping other Peters on the back as they parachute out. Go, 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 check. Super gymnastic Asian Peter, contorted into a box that will be delivered into the house. Hey. Peter who hasn't answered because something has gone terribly wrong. Peter? Peter, are you there? Now let's go get that kid. Okay, he's in the left upstairs bedroom. All right, you keep the car going in case there's trouble. All right, I got him, Lois. Peter, what the? That's not Scotty. That's Ben. Oh. Well, you know, we ain't known this family that long. I'm still learning everybody's names. Damn it, put him back and go get Scotty, the baby. Okay, so I'll go get the baby, and while I'm doing that, maybe you do something about that snatchy tone. Lois, is this the right one? Shh, Peter. Yes. Now, come on. What was that? I don't know. It came from Scotty's room. All right, we did it. Yes, we got the kid and the treasure. Peter, there's no treasure. Oh, well, never mind then. Oh, my God, Joe, there's a man on the wing. Peter, there's no man on the wing. There is. I saw him. Peter, stop being ridiculous. I'm telling you, lift up the shade. There's a man on the wing. <sighs> Fine. It's me. I'm the man on the wing. Peter, how the hell did you get out there? Are you crazy? Get back in here, Peter. What the hell's going on back there? We're losing altitude. Cotty Jennings. Oh, my God. I know she was upset, but... Do you think Lois would have gone so far as to kidnap him? Of course she did. She'll do anything for attention. I know. She's like the boy who cried wolf. Wolf! Wolf! Did you hear that? Somebody needs help! Let's go! <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Charles! Oh my god! I'll run and get help! No! No! We've got to carry him! We can't leave him here! There's a wolf! Um... There's not really a wolf. What?! Oh... My kids... I love him. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> this was so funny in my head when I planned it. <laughs> Peter, you left the flap open. It's like a thousand degrees in here, Lois. Close the tent now. It's freezing. Headline, Woman Cold. Aw, <laughs> oh, look at the little guy. So peaceful. Hey, wake up! We got one more! <laughs> now, if this don't get you to sleep, nothing will. Cinderella by Nobody Remembers. Ever you have to do, Brian, but never let him know he's got talent. Yeah, you're right. It won't be so hard. After all, I've certainly done worse. I replaced Peter's I Can't Believe It's Not Butter with real butter. But... What? But... I... I can't... I can't... Believe... <laughs> I don't know, Doctor. Looking back, I think it may have been real butter. Your husband murdered three children. No way! Those guys have a TV in their car! <laughs> They're watching Operation Dumbo Sex with Don Nuts. Professor, you've got to impregnate this elephant or the entire species will become extinct. You mean I gotta put this thing in that thing? Well, this is a job that's not worth the money! Peter, watch the road. Lois, get off my back, will you? I'm trying to watch TV. I swear to God, sometimes I think your head's screwed on backwards. I mean, do you have any idea? <gasps> <laughs> hey, Crashy. What are you doing down there? I'm entitled to these things, Lois, especially after I got shafted by that Asian Santa at the mall. 
What you want? What you want for Christmas? Um, I was thinking maybe one of those old timey. Too late. Take too long. Sad Christmas. What you want? Fire truck. What color? Red. Next. Ah. Ah, oh, damn, which one's a Chinese one? That's probably it. You stop making bing bong. Every bing bong, two cent. What you want? Uh, yeah, I'm here to pick up my cleaning. <laughs> Bye, Patty. Bye, Esther. Bye, overzealous Asian kids lining up to be the first ones in school tomorrow. Ah, go away. No time to say bye. <laughs> I pass you because you lose focus. Damn, lost focus. Life over. And the worst thing is that he he's not even a douche. He's a, he's a nice guy. I like him. Oh, honey, that sounds awful. I know what'll cheer you up. You want to scratch my pet rabbit Steven on his nose with your index finger? I like rabbits because you can pull their ears back and make them look like Asian people. Da -na 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 -na. Give me color. Give me redis. Well, I suppose that makes sense. I guess it could take Peter a long time to find a job in this economy. Well, it may not be that bad, Lois. I could see about getting back my old job as a police sketch artist. Now, did you get a look at the man who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get a description? Yeah, he was probably around 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Which is it, 5'9 or 5'10"? I'd say 5'10". Okay, we'll go 5'9 and a half. And now, how old was he? Late 30s, maybe 37. Uh, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah, he was Asian American. Asian American. Are we talking Korean? Are we talking Thai? Are we talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but, but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any any marks, piercings? He any... may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? Yeah, we could really turn this place around. Play our cards right, it could be bigger than the Apollo Theater. All right, now. Next up, we got the comedy stylings of Kim Lee Sung. Give it up. How you doing tonight? So you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? <laughs> you stay out my store! All you stay out my store! I remember your face! So it's weird being Japanese. Last night, my husband wanted 69. I said, why do you want beef and broccoli now? Hey, that's Chinese! Aw, oh, damn it! Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm death. Sorry, dude. Super death. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a death dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. Hey, you guys noticed how many Asians there are at this school? I mean, how'd they all get so smart? I don't know. Guess that's just the way God made them. Gentlemen, I give you... The Asian. Ooh. Compact, hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no, 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 the opposite. Look, Dad, this isn't going to be a cakewalk, all right? I'm your supervisor. Meg, Meg, I promise I'll do better at this job than I did on the SATs. Come on. Do math. Really? Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Somewhere far away. Maybe China. I hear they got NASCAR there now. Peter, you joined the tea party? That's right, Brian. I finally got something better to do with my Saturdays than sit at the mall and watch Japanese girls laugh at normal conversation. So, I drove to work this morning? <laughs> to stop for coffee? <laughs> so there's a Starbucks near my house? <laughs> you people are a circus. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, now there are plenty of people who have had worse days. Oh, a parking ticket. I was gone five minutes. Oh, how could this day get any worse? Oh my 
a god. American Johnny. Holy crap, Quagmire, you're famous here. It's American Johnny. American Johnny is back. I take a picture with the giant Samsung phone. Giant Samsung phone is also a tiny Kia car. Welcome, American Johnny. We give our only best room for you. Would you like smoking or chain smoking? Uh, smoking, I guess? Yes, and how many ridiculous things would you like your toilet to do? Do you have one that goes yum, 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 yum? Ah, presidential suite. Fine, I go, but there's no over. I take picture of Ang Lee. Good, he do too many white people movie anyway. <phone rings> you no come back ever. I know like you American, and all you American look alike. Oh, we all look alike, do we? Well, look who's talking. Yeah, where's Peter? Oh, he went to get plastic surgery. He did? Yeah, Korea's the plastic surgery capital of the world. Nobody here thinks you look good unless you have big round eyes and a tiny little nose and chin. Hey, guys. Peter, are you all right? You know what? I feel good. I feel like I want to giggle behind my hand at a lot of things and hold but not eat a big ice cream cone. Stewie, what are you doing? Oh, just doing a little Thai chi. You know how the Asians look 30 until they're 60? This is why. Of course, then they suddenly look a hundred, but cross that bridge, you know. Is this a Japanese thing? No, Chinese. The Japanese have a whole other thing going on. Hey, you want to see a movie? Nah, we're Japanese. Let's go watch a schoolgirl bang an octopus. Yeah! feel <laughs> good. Well, I'm glad you get to go out in public again, Brian. Well, I'm glad you, Chris, and Meg are back from that Christian camp. Hey, where is Meg, anyway? Oh, she was so mad I dragged her to Christian camp, she ran away to live with a Japanese family. Amale, Meg! <laughs> family Guy, over! On the Foxy! All right, Peter, it's time to master the game of chess. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. No! You will do it in the traditional Japanese way, on a wacky game show while a beautiful woman beats your scrotum with a reed. Ow! I don't know which way the horse goes! Ah! Why is that guy laughing at me, and where is he? There was a time limit? Nobody told me that! Ah! Time for a good door or bad door? Wait, how bad is the bad door? Grandpa-san, how bad was the bad door? Not too bad, but shortly afterwards, I was almost eaten alive by an escalator. The game is still going on? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you lose chess! Ah, ow, ow, ow. What do you mean we can't go there anymore? Who gives a crap? We'll get a new cleaners. They're all the same. They are not all the same. Peter, I have been going to Mr. Washi Washi for 10 years, and I am not finding another dry cleaner. Now, we are going to invite him over for dinner, and you are going to apologize. <sighs> all right, fine. Hello. Hi, Mr. Washi Washi. It's Peter Griffin. Um, my wife wants to invite you over for dinner. What you having? Number 32? Ooh. From now on, I too will be abstinent. I'll be as untouched as the turn signal in an Asian woman's car. How much signal I need to cut across eight lane? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else! Damn these worms. Ah, oh, this itch. Ryan, what the hell are you doing? Oh, uh, uh, nothing. Just, uh, some, uh... Pilates. Don't lie to me, Brian. I know what this is. You're looking for an ass race. First one to the kitchen wins. Go! <laughs> Come on, Brian. I'm gonna make you a YouTube surfing dog. You know, one of those videos where you can't tell if he's enjoying it or not. I love it. I hate it. Okay, Brian, you can do this. Hey, Meg. Hi, Meg. Hey, how's it going? My locker. Meg, I thought we were going to try to work on that. Here, girl. <sighs> Come on, go, 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 go! <sighs> What's Brian doing? 
Mac, take Stewie upstairs. What? What are you? What are you doing? Oh, you don't know that either. Last chance, Brian. Yes, I would oh. like. I would like it, please. Yeah, yes. you want this, huh? You want the ball? Yes, I would like to have it very you much. Want it, huh? You want the ball? Yeah, I would enjoy having it. Yes, give it to me. Go get it. I, I'm sorry, Lois. I was mistaken. I thought you threw the ball in there, but I can see now you still have it. Go get the ball. <gasps> hey, shut up! Don't look at me. I'm dominant. Oh my God. Oh my God! Oh my God! Peter, Peter, you hear that? I'm matching the sound. Is what I'm doing helping? Hey, hey, Lois! Lois, there's another dog in that car! Hey, 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 hey! There's another dog in that car! Hey, are you seeing that? Hey, hey, hey! Other Thanks. Is it new tennis ball great? It's three new tennis balls great! I'm gonna get them all, I'm gonna get them all, I'm gonna get them all! <laughs> anyway, be good. And while we're gone, Brian's in charge. Where is Brian? What's up, bitches? No, 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 no. I don't want to make that trade. I thought I wanted to make that trade, but I don't want to make that trade. I am? Oh, hey. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I've been kind of using Rupert as a chew toy. Chewing him with your crotch? And you know Rupert's a dude, right, you gay lord? So oh, here, how is it you think you know everything anyway? You don't even understand your feelings for the mailman. <laughs> you motherfucker! Get out of here, I'll kill you! But come back tomorrow, same time. I get very sad on Sundays when you're not here. No, no, Lois, I'm a little depressed. The accident got me thinking about how uncertain life is and how suddenly it can be taken away. Ah, uh, you're gonna feel back to normal in no time. Here, have some food. Ugh, I'm not hungry. Here comes the gravy! <laughs> <laughs> you messy beast. You know what? That's fine. I'll just go have a dog-style celebration by myself. Yeah! Awesome time! This is very fun for me! Hey! Oh, hey! This is fun, right? The best! And me too! I can't believe Horace is dead. I can't believe we left Brian in the car with the windows up. I'm gonna pee! Much garbage? <laughs> God, this is horrible! I'm blind! I'm blind! I'm blind! Whew. Ooh, something smells good in this box. I'm blind! I'm blind! I'm blind! <laughs> Now all I have is this dumb whistle. Doesn't even work. Ah, what the hell? Oh, it's a dog whistle. Ah! I've always wondered what that sounds like to you. Dog whistle! Dog whistle! Where are you, dog? Hey, is the party good out there? Can I come out? No, Brian, you're fine in the kitchen. Is there food on the floor? I can clean it up. No. Oh, come on, Joe just dropped a crack. Joe just dropped a cracker. Damn it, Brian! I can't figure out how to open the gate. I'm gonna get killed by a cat. They'll never let me live this down in doggy heaven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's that guy who got killed by a cat. <laughs> Shut up. How'd you guys die? We bit kids. Woo! Biting kids! Yeah, unpettable! I miss biting kids. Isn't it amazing, Brian? You can see for... Oh, you're doing your pee thing. Right. I don't really know what the point is. I mean, there's no way other dogs can smell this. Trust me, Stewie, they'll know. They'll know the world is now mine. <laughs> no way.